Hi, um, this is Jules Wan, the homeless gamer, and um, I love my PS3, but I know that it is a console, and it has limitations and bottlenecks. Of course, it's obviously not as powerful as a PC, but when people get into the debates, I think it's interesting how some people don't really look deep into what the problems of the PS3 really are. So, even though, um, this, because of my limited resources, I have, um, no, um, able way to actually make a full 10 minute video. So I'll probably make, um, this short and probably in many parts, maybe three minute parts, maybe four minute parts. But I'm going to explain the real limitations of the PS3 that everybody should know. Um, we're going to start with the RAM. We know about the 512 megabytes of RAM total. <clears throat> but what people don't know is that, yes, it is true. Um, the Microsoft Xbox 360 does have more RAM resources for making games than the, the PS3. But how much? Here's the deal. The XMB, the Cross MB um, operating system, takes up 43 megabytes of the XDR main RAM. On top of that, it also takes up another 7 megabytes of the internal flash RAM. So that's 50 megabytes of memory total. But the important part is the RAM, the main RAM. That's 43 megabytes out of 256 megabytes uh, XDR main RAM. <clears throat> but that's not all. You don't get to use the full 256 megabytes of VRAM, GDDR3 VRAM, in the um, RSX GPU either. Four megabytes of that is used up to keep track of the RSX GPU's own internal state and resources and its own issued commands. So, when you look at it, out of the 512 megabytes of memory total, um, you have to subtract 47 megabytes of total RAM available for the three PS3 to use. Um, but, it gets more interesting. <clears throat> and this is actually a real testament to the cell broadband engine's capability. Look at Killzone 2. On top of the RAM resources I already explained, there's also an in-game web browser that takes another 40 megabytes away. And no, it doesn't get reallocated to game resources the moment you start the game. No, it's locked there. So that's 87 megabytes taken away from game rendering for Killzone 2. This is actually a good testament, if you really think about it, to the cell processor's rendering capability and assistance to the RSX GPU because what the deferred because it's still doing the deferred rendering the 40 rendering that I talked about in my last video and obviously of course it's getting help um, in the anti-aliasing with um, Quincux because such complicated um, structuring um, can't use uh, multi-sampling anti-aliasing Because four of the SPEs in the cell broadband engine are still dedicated to coloring and light maps and normal maps and everything. Four of the six SPEs. And the local store RAM, 
pardon me, which is 256 kilobytes per SPE, is actually helping with um, virtual memory, if you think about it. They're using virtual memory, they're cranking that out of the local store RAM, that little tiny chunk of RAM in each each core, each codependent core, but a core nonetheless, to crank out some of the best visuals on the PS2 before Uncharted 2. I hope um, you all now get to understand the, at least this interesting bottleneck of the PS3. And I thank you very much for your time. This is Yul Swan, the Homeless Gamer, signing out.